everybody this it's installed the 90 94 caprice 94 to 96 caprice uh this setup is set in is set in there it's all in bolted in everything's done um i'm just gonna go over a couple things that i had to i had to take care or do to get it in there nothing major no nothing major everything went right in really easy everything lines right up lines, lines up perfect no problems at all um except you know not no major problems simple little things um they uh okay uh this here the umi the umi control arm this is i ordered for the cutlass okay it has no pro it had, you know obviously the bushing went in here no problem um but no problems because it's made for the cutlass this one over here the only thing i had to do was i had to put a washer right there i had to put a washer there because there was a, too much of a gap so and i didn't want the you know the, the it's shifting around i mean i probably could have smashed it but i didn't want to do that so it had a gap so i just put a big wash in there i, I got real big wash but this, you know as you can see they're even bigger than the um bushing itself okay that that was nothing not major real easy fix uh the upper control arms I stretched them out just a little bit. I only, now these are the stock ones. I plan on getting the other ones, but I just ain't got the money right now. Um, I stretched these ones out just a little bit, just enough to get it all go up in there easier for me because I was doing this all by myself. And I didn't want this, I guess rear end, I didn't want this rear end to fall on me. So, uh, other than that, that was the only problems I had. That's the only thing I, well, that's the only, Things I had to face as for mounting it. Um, everything else, everything else is okay. You know, bolted in whatever. Um, the brake line, the brake line is another thing, because the the rear end has a metric, has a has a metric. I tried to find an adapter where it went from the standard thread to the metric thread um bubble flare but they didn't have it they didn't have none in stock everywhere i went nobody had them so all i did is i just ended up cutting the line and reflaring it and putting one of these on there just re, you know putting the, for the bubble flare uh this is the part number here uh let's see if you can get that get that for you guys there you go um okay so and I just reflared it and put that on there. Um, the only thing is, is you know, now when I do the front ones, I'm probably gonna have to do the same thing, reflare it or whatever. Um, depending on how it works with the, with the regular proportioning valve, how the brakes work, I may have to change the proportioning valve and then I'm gonna have to redo, reflare them all, or I'm gonna see if I can find the adapters. Um, that's a whole nother bridge to cross. Uh, so just to, this is just to give you guys a heads up that it's all installed, everything, anything that you may face, um, doing this install, everything other than that, other than those two simple things, oh, the brake line, um, and the, putting the washers and in, into the, the bottom and then stretching the top out a little bit. I mean, which I crushed it anyways. It was just to make it easier for me. Um, everything went right in. No problems, nothing. Everything was great. Um, as for here, my clearance, I was wrong on the clearance. I said three quarters. It's actually, I have about a half inch clearance from this part of the lip to the tire, not to the, to the tire, not to the rim. Okay. Cause you know, you got the bow of the tire. So I, uh, that was, that's a half inch. And then from here this is the highest point of the frame or the thickest part from here to the tire i still have my two inch clearance i still got a good two inch clearance so i, I mean i can still have my rims widened two inches and still have a half inch of clearance here so that's what i plan on plan on doing and that's with the spacer on there um other than that, uh, like I said, everything's in, you know, I'm trying to give you guys a little view of everything. 
you can see everything's in you know the next thing is uh, is i gotta get you know i'm gonna get, get all the new exhaust put on a tool um get that all fit in there and stuff like that go through all that um but that's a whole nother thing and other than that that's it that's everything so i gotta uh try to keep this uh short and sweet i guess uh just so you guys see that it's in if there's any questions of uh that i can help you with um uh you know i'll, I'll answer every question i can the best i can and uh you know like subscribe thumbs up all that good stuff i guess you know um and this is uh this is a, a considered the the car is considered the later a bodies the early i did look into that the early a bodies 68 to 72 you have to do other modifications to fit this rear end the um the spring perches are in the front here they're way up here they're in there more and they're up here where, where my hand would be about give or take so the uh the spring purchase would have to be relocated to fit your car if you have an early a body this is the later a bodies which is 73 to 77. um and then that i mean like i said there's other videos on the on this car you know it's got the the fuel injection the five tech system in it um i do plan on putting the disc in disc in the front of it from the caprice to but you know i'll do that a little bit later on maybe I'll, like i said i'll do a video on that um so that's it that's everything right there so i hope you guys liked the video and you know uh get to uh see what we got going on here and have some fun i guess uh, i guess you know do it while we can uh, and everything so like i said like subscribe all that good stuff and uh Share, share your thoughts, and I appreciate you guys watching the video. You guys all have a good one.